Welcome to 4 Minute Fridays with TPM. My name is Brody. I'm an applications engineer here. I focus on Revit as well as Bluebeam Review. What we're going to discuss today is some of the ways to navigate around Bluebeam Review. There are multiple ways to use the tools that are included in Bluebeam Review and I will show you how to use a few of those. As you know, we only have four minutes, so let's make the most of it. You have the ability to access your tools via the toolbar. As well, as you can see on both the right and the left side of my screen, we do have these little icons that give us the ability to do those as well. So one of the things that I want to talk about is your cloud tool. In review, you can do, today we're going to discuss two different tools that are on Bluebeam review. Those tools are going to be the cloud tool, which will also include the cloud plus tool, and we will do the call out tool today. Now, as you can see, my screen may be different than yours. I am working in review 2018. Um, however, these options are available in 2017 as well. Now, as you can see, you can access your tools from the toolbar up here at the top of your screen, or depending on where you have them located, you can actually access them from your side panels as well, top panel, side panel, wherever you have placed them. But for ease and commonality, we're going to use the toolbar. And like I said, we're gonna discuss the markup tool the cloud, cloud plus, as well as the callout tool here under the text. The cloud plus can be accessed via the command key C, as well as the cloud plus tool can be used pressing K and callout Q. For example, we're going to use the cloud tool. When we select the cloud tool, you see that you now have modification options prior to placing the tool or using the tool here. We can change the subject and the layer, as well as we can change the line color, the line opacity, the style, cloud size, and invert, um, as well as the line weight, whether it's filled, that fills opacity, and you can also do a hatch as well and highlight. Now that goes for your Cloud Plus tool as well as that goes for your callout tool. You will have this bar show up after you press the tool or choose to use the tool and that'll give you editing options prior to placing it on the sheet. Now what we'll do is we're going to change the line weight to or the line color to green. We're going to keep that line style, but we're going to up the ante a little bit. We're going to change the size to let's say 4. That way it's more visible on our screen. To place the cloud tool, you can highlight your area via placing lines. You can double click to get out of that. And we're just going to zoom right in on that guy. So you can place that on your sheet. After you place the cloud tool, you still have the ability to edit and change the colors while it is selected. As you can see, we can change it to pink and you can see it show up here. If you happen to click off, you can still go back and select that. Now, the cloud tool does come in handy if you're trying to make a call out with no text. Well, what if you actually want to do one with text? You go to markup, you select cloud plus, and now as you can see on my cursor, you have a cloud, a part of a cloud with a callout box. Now if you click and drag, you can just create a rectangle. And if we do just a single click, like we did with the regular cloud tool, no callout, you can draw your area. Now as you see off to the side here, whichever way my cursor goes, after I've closed that cloud, I have the option to add text. Your text, as you can see, instead of just having it stop at highlight like you did with the cloud, you have the ability to edit the width and size of the callout as well. And it's going to be red. We're going to do a regular line style. And let's go ahead and make that line weight of the callout box 4. And we're going to do no fill. So now you can see that that callout box has become, has a thicker line weight. If we double click in that, or... If you were to do it prior to, it would stay, the cursor would stay within the text box and you can just add your text. 
and then you can hit escape or you can click off to get out of that box. Now we have a cloud with a callout attached to it. Well, what if you needed to do just a regular callout? You can access it again on one of your panels or like we'll do in this demonstration, we're going to use it through the markup. Just like the cloud tool, you have options to set your weight for your callout. Right now we have zero, so let's bump that guy up to four. For some odd reason, I love four, the number four. Um, and once we do that, your first click will initiate where your arrow is pointing. Your second click is placing where your callout box is going. And you hit escape. Once you do that, you have the ability to edit where you want your callout to point. So it doesn't have to be exactly where you wanted it to go. You can go, after you've placed it, you can go back and maneuver it how you would like. And you're gonna use these nodes here, the yellow guys that you see up on the screen. This text it may be too small. We can go through up on the top panel here that comes with selecting and change it to how we want it. You have the ability to edit the size as you saw me doing earlier. We're gonna close for now. Um, thank you for viewing this video. Um, again, as I continue to grow in this profession, I plan on giving you more knowledge and hopefully you guys subscribe. Thank you for listening to Brody and this has been TPM's 4-Minute Friday for Architecture, Engineering, and Construction.